Hello Superman fans, welcome back to my channel. Our new Lex Luthor actor Nicholas Holt has praised Michael Rosenbaum of Smallville for his portrayal of the greatest criminal mind of all time. Holt said that Rosenbaum was the first Lex he had ever seen when he was a guest on Rosenbaum's Inside of You podcast. He said, Smallville was on, I was 11 or 12 I guess. That was the show I would watch and see my first iterations of Superman and Lex in all those stories. Since, I've seen Richard Donner's movies and all the other ones in performances. I love your performance as Lex. It's the best, yeah. You did inhabit him with such depth and charm. That ability to switch, which makes him dangerous and formidable and a great opponent. I just love what you did. Later, after Rosenbaum questioned him about it, Holt said that he tried to get a viewpoint on everything during his preparation for playing Lex. He further said, the prep always changes. It can go off on weird tangents. Writer-director James Gunn's ability to keep things fun and alive and try things in the moment. That's something I really enjoy. Prior to this, Rosenbaum personally greeted Holt as a member of the Lex Luthor family, writing on Instagram, congratulations to Nicholas Holt. You'll be a great Lex Luthor. You're in good hands with James Gunn. Pumped for you buddy. I know you'll kill it. Welcome to the family. And in response to this, Gunn replied that he and Holt discussed how Rosenbaum was the best Lex, to which Rosenbaum thanked him for doing so. While specifics regarding Lex's appearance in Superman are still unknown, Gunn hinted at the character in December 2023, saying that he and Holt had discussed how they could create a Lex that will be different from anything audiences have seen before and will never forget over dinner. In the same month, Gunn explained to a fan on threads why he wanted a Lex who was contemporaries with Superman and why Rosenbaum wasn't taking up the role again. Highlighting the Man of Steel's most recent motion picture venture, Gunn recently explored the reasons behind the film's removal of the legacy subtitle. The director and co-head of DC Studios claims that when he suggested the name Superman, everyone thought it felt like the right name. He also points out that no movie has been called Superman since 1978, when the movie was solely promoted as Superman the movie. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.